They seem to just crawl along the ground like some sort of devouring monster. Just look at what they've done. I leave them unchecked for a few episodes, and I mean, they're consuming the landscape. Everything under a tree has been eaten alive, honestly. Well, theoretically, by eaten alive, I mean the grass has been killed out. It's just sucking up all the nutrients. We need a dinosaur and fast that will eat these. Go see the pterosaur. The pterosaur, I do not believe, can eat those. They eat fish and zeochuli and chicken. Oh yeah, I forgot what I was going to do. I was going to breed these chickens with these seeds. Kill one of them. Or two of them. You know, you chickens disgust me. Okay. Well. Hmm. Which ones do I kill? have a status quo of four chickens. Now, where's our bucket? Bucket, 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 where's the bucket? Isn't it? Yep, it's in here. Okay. So now, take this bucket, and we have raw chicken soup. Now, I'm not exactly sure as to whether or not I can get this bucket back. But, either way, so now I need glass, which is not a problem considering all of the... No, I don't want crafting grid, I want a furnace. Okay, we have cooked chicken soup. Now... We need eight glass. Yeah, well, we need a lot of glass, actually. Since we need eight bottles, eight bottles is what we need to grow the baby parasaur to a size that we can ride him. And we'll use all our fish to feed him. So, how many bottles does three glass make? Three bottles. So, we're gonna need a substantial amount. You know, here, this, uh, this is too slow. There, that way we'll produce twice the number of bottles. Okay, another three glass bottles. One, two. Double the speed. Okay. Okay, now cook essence of chicken and we get our bucket back, yes. So now, if we wanted to do it again, we could, but instead, I want to grow a pterosaur.
We can't grow him any larger. And now he's able to fly. Well, our time has come, ladies and gentlemen. We shall now take flight. This confuses me. Um, how does he know how to use chests? How is that in his programming? I can understand a velociraptor, but not a pterosaur. No, not a pterosaur. This is worrying and annoying at the same time. might just be a typo or something because I thought that only velociraptors could use a chest and now there's a pterosaur that knows how to use a chest you know the question I would would be asking would be um, how did he open it he don't have hands Okay, so now what? You see, there's no actual danger of him flying out because he actually has to have a jump on the top. He actually has to have a very high jump to fly. And it's not so easy to do. So, so where is that? I need a, I need a lever. Lever, lever. Okay, you can just stick. And here's a piece of cobble. Now, on the cobble. That's good. Now, it, it's about day right now, so let's all head up there. What the? Oh. Okay, this isn't in his programming to understand, so he shouldn't see it as a way to escape. No horizontal power whatsoever. Needs redstone. Yes. Done. Okay. Now. Ah. We're one block level too high. Sorry, pterosaur. Sorry. Didn't mean to hurt you. Just accidental. Not that you can actually fight back. Better make sure that you're still OK. 